News 5 crime alert tonight in Mobile, where shots have been fired across the city and innocent people find themselves in the crossfire. We first told you on Monday about a woman who found a bullet hole inside of her home inches from where she had been getting water before bed. News 5's Nicolette Schleisman spoke with more victims and police about how they are working to put a stop to this. Nicolette? Yeah, Roseanne, seemingly innocent people across Mobile are having their homes shot into and police say that this is happening more often now and we spoke with several people this afternoon who say they just want something to be done. I was raised in a very religious family, so I, no, I'm not afraid. 72-year-old Mary Lott. I thought it was firecrackers because they do that around here a lot. Was sitting at home watching TV Monday night. She had just gotten out of the hospital. I heard a lot of pow, 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 about 20 or 25 times. She was ready to relax, sitting near her window. Maybe two feet, but I might not even been that far. Lott says she heard glass shatter and knew something wasn't right. I hit the floor, hit the floor and crawled over further away from the window and dialed 911. Dial 9, I want to say they had 19 cones, I counted from the bullet shells that they found. Marcelo Tanner was coming home and saw the commotion. It's nothing but gunfights over here every other night. Between Saturday night and Monday night, police got six calls of shots fired into homes all over the city. From Maysville, where Lot lives, to West Mobile, where a woman was getting water in her apartment when she heard a noise that startled her. You think that you sit in your living room and you're home and everything, and everything's safe and everything like that, then nothing like this would ever happen to you. Mobile police say the community is key in trying to curb these crimes. If they don't do anything about it, it's going to happen again. They're going to, uh, there's going to be another shooting incident until we take that person off the street. Lot says she just wants something to be done. If uh, the parents can't do anything about it, they ought to do something about the parents. Now, Mobile Police say that, that if you see anything, you are asked to contact them and give them those tips because that's what helps them solve these crimes. They also suggest putting up surveillance cameras outside of your homes to also pick up any suspicious activity. Reporting live from Mobile Police Department, I'm Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.